Hi, this is Marcia, and this is part five of the Blended Learning Coaching Blocks. In this section, we're going to be talking about the power of one more. So in part one, we talked about reflective planning, how you can actually go backwards and look to see where studios fit to see if you could add them in in more relevant locations. Next is being consistent. How you're consistent with deploying studios, not just once a month, but going once a week to really big up, build up the student ownership. Then we looked into data, how to use formative and summative data to drive our small group instruction along with data meetings. Last session in part four, we talked about relevant studios, how to make sure that when you're designing studios, that we're really making sure that it's relevant content. And finally, we're in part five, which is talking about the power of one more. And the power of one more starts with the field guide. Yes, this is kind of like a little pitch, but I want to talk about why the power of one more is 100% found in every single one of these pages of the field guide. So, we have the field guides designed set up where the first part is always like a write-up. It always writes, gives you like a little bit of a write-up, explains how to use a field guide. It talks about the different sections. And then when you get into the field guide itself, it will literally go through and say, okay, here's yellow belt strategies and gives you like a written version of what I'm showing you on the screen. This is a coaching page for you as a coach to use. And the coaching page is to show you like in orange belt, you are now, if you're looking at the progress indicator, you've mastered white strategies, you've gone into yellow belt strategies, now you're into the orange belt strategies. And this really helps the teachers to show their growth over time. I love this. So the power of one more is like, hey, can we get one more belt color? The power of one more is also looking at how we designed the field guide. The field guide is designed by it gives you four different strategies to try. Try one. Once I got that one, can we try one more? Can we try one more? And every one of our strategies come along with a quick little video that you can use to help supplement and support the strategies. We didn't just stop there, but we also included the power of one more with visuals. Sometimes those visuals are really meaningful and helpful for the teachers to see, like, oh, I should list my groups. Oh, here's my small group order. I should start with my high flyers first and go to my strugglers. Oh, here's the power of one more. We're showing me I can do it one more week. The power of one more in a field guide just doesn't stop there. When you turn the page over, there are even more videos and more resources that you can use to continue to move the team through that belt color. Once your team is ready to move, then you move them to one more belt color inside a small group or if you're looking at data. The power of one more is evident throughout the field guide. And that is why I designed and created this book because it's all coaching strategies to gradually grow our teachers to that next level. So give Power of One More a try as a coaching resource.